As an online seller, at some point you will likely have slow moving inventory on hand. It's bound to happen. When this occurs, you face additional expenses and your money gets stuck in items that aren't selling, which could be put to better use in your business. So the big question is, how do you manage slow moving inventory? Hello everyone, I'm Ankita Patil, Product Evangelist at SellerApp and today I'm going to talk about the slow moving inventory, how to identify it and the strategies that can help reduce the impact of slow moving products on your business. Well, here's a quick overview of topics we are covering in this video. Before we begin, if you find this video helpful, click the like button below and subscribe to SellerApp so you don't miss out on more exciting Amazon selling tutorials in the future. And don't forget to follow us on our social media channels for more helpful content. Let's get started. Slow moving inventory refers to products that stay in your storage for a long time. The exact time limit to label something as slow moving can vary depending on the type of the product. For example, it could be 90 days, 120 days or even more. You can decide how your online store considers a product as slow moving. So keep in mind that your criteria might be quite different from other businesses in different industries. For instance, Cosmetics might be considered slow moving after, you know, 15 to 20 days, while apparel might take around 90 days and luxury items might need a whole year. Slow moving inventory causes several problems. It takes up space in your storage and ties up your money. It also leads to various costs such as the cost of goods, the expenses related to loans or credit lines used to buy the inventory costs like warehouse, rent, labor and insurance, opportunity cost, which is the money lost when you can't sell your stock. Stockpiling too many products can lead to expensive challenges and even negative outcomes. So here are some of the significant issues. Firstly, lower Amazon IPI score. The Amazon Inventory Performance Index measures how well you manage your inventory in your FBA business. When you have an access of inventory that's not selling quickly, especially within 90 days for Amazon sellers, it can result in a lower IPI score. This signals to the marketplace that your inventory isn't performing well and can lead to reduced storage limits. Lower Amazon rankings. On the platform, most businesses generate 80% of their income from the top 20% of sellers or products. Slow selling items often receive less attention, possibly because their listings are not well optimized or maybe outdated. Poorly optimized listings are less likely to appear at the top of the search results, resulting in lower traffic and sales. This means your products may go unsold tying up your money in inventory holding costs. Higher opportunity cost. In e-commerce, opportunity cost refers to the value of the inventory you could have bought and sold instead of having products sitting in your warehouse. That's why it's a good idea to put your excess Amazon stock on sale or liquidate it to improve your sell-through rate and keep your opportunity cost low. Next is storage limits. Clogged with unsold items, new Amazon storage type limits impose overall uh, you know, inventory restrictions. Having more excess low moving products means less Amazon FBA storage space for your best selling items leading to stockouts. This in turn results in lower limits creating a cycle of increasingly restricted storage space that can be challenging to recover from. Higher lists, risk of merchandise deterioration. Now many products lose value over time, especially items that quickly become outdated like certain gadgets. While this is appealing to customers who always want the latest, it also means electronic items can quickly become obsolete or fall out of fashion, leaving you with unsellable stock. Next is adverse effects on cash flow. If you can't sell your excess stock quickly, you'll incur additional expenses on top of your regular monthly storage fees. 
the more unsold stock you have in your Amazon warehouse, the more you'll pay. Keeping inventory with the marketplace beyond six months can result in penalty costs, which increases even more after a year. Additionally, storage expenses in the fourth quarter of the year is about six times higher than the average, making it even more painful to store excess goods during that particular time. So there's no one size fits all definition for, you know, slow moving inventory. And sometimes what one business considers slow moving might not be a problem for another to pinpoint the potential issues. Early on, it's valuable to be aware of these seven methods for, you know, identifying the slow moving inventory. Firstly, overstock. Having too much of a particular item could indicate a slow moving inventory. You can keep an eye on this by checking how long the items have been in stock or by monitoring the inventory levels. If you are consistently accumulating more inventory for items you regularly purchase, it might mean that the sales are you know slowing down next is inventory turnover now this is a common financial metric that shows how quickly a business is selling its inventory good inventory management software can calculate the turnover for individual products giving you a clearer picture of what's selling slowly shipment frequency keep an eye on how often you receive shipments if it starts to slow down, it's a sign that your inventory is moving more slowly. You can also track the frequency of customer shipments as a proxy for you know, sales rate. Next is holding costs. If your expenses for holding inventory are increasing, it might be a sign that you are ordering too much. This often suggests a slowdown in sales, especially you know, if you are ordering uh, behavior hasn't changed. Average days to sell inventory. This metric measures how long it takes to sell inventory equal to its value on average. Tracking a modified version of this for each product can reveal which ones are selling more slowly. Next is gross profit. Monitoring your gross profit over time can help identify the issues that could be affecting your business. A decrease in weekly gross profit combined with other metrics can suggest uh, the slow moving inventory or even, you know, other potential problems. Next we have is inventory forecasting. Comparing how quickly each product is selling to your sales forecast can be insightful, especially when sales volume is volatile. If your forecasts consistently deviate from uh, actual sales in the same direction over time, it may signal changes in the sales patterns. The most efficient way to track these metrics is by using the top tier inventory management software. Such a system can automate the distribution of these metrics to the right stakeholders and send alerts when uh, you know any of them crosses a predetermined threshold. Slow moving inventory can result from you know various factors and it's often a combination of several issues. So to find the right solutions, you need to ask the right questions. So here's how to tackle this problem. Firstly, perform a root cause analysis. To get to the bottom of the issue, you must analyze what's causing the inventory to move slowly. Study historical sales trends to identify the patterns of surges and dips. Now this will help you make more accurate forecasts and manage your inventory effectively. Consider these questions when discussing with your team. Did we order too much to reduce the cost per item? Did we miscalculate the demand and supply? Has a competitor launched a similar product, lowered prices or run a more effective marketing campaign? Is our pricing competitive and is our product's value clear to customers? Is it influenced by the seasonal demand? Second is optimize your website layout and navigation. If you have your own online store, it can be a powerful sales platform. Regularly review your website's performance and consider repositioning slow moving products. Ensure your products are well categorized, visual appealing and highlighted effectively. Create showcases or uh, you know lookbooks to give customers a better visual experience of these products. 
adjust the search results to make slow moving products more visible when customers browse the top sellers. Also here are things you need to pay attention to. Can customers easily find slow moving products on your website? Do the links on your product listing page that lead to uh, your specific product pages work properly? Is the search bar functioning as it should? Are slow moving products placed in the correct categories? Can you promote uh, the slow moving products on landing pages with high traffic? Next we have is improving your product page and you know for better sales. Now when you sell the products on online marketplaces, it's crucial to make sure your product pages are appealing and informative to entice customers to buy. The quality of your product representation on these particular pages significantly influences your sales. If you are wondering why your inventory isn't moving as quickly as you would like, it's time to review the product pages for your slow selling items. Here's how you can enhance them. Showcase high quality images. Use high resolution images that show your products from you know, various angles. Clear detailed images help customers understand exactly what they are purchasing. Check your product pages with these questions in mind. Are the product images eye-catching and clear? Have you used the high resolution images? Do you provide images from different angles? Craft informative titles and description. Now create product titles that include essential specifications and unique selling points like 100% natural or sustainable. For descriptions and FAQs, be as informative as possible. Include all the features and benefits of your product to give the customers every particular reason to make a purchase. Evaluate your product descriptions with these particular considerations. So does your product have a descriptive and relevant title? Is your product description informative? Have you included the product specifications, features and the benefits? Are answers to frequently answered questions included? Utilize metadata and uh, SEO. Implement search engine optimization and metadata strategies to improve the searchability and visibility of your products. Including relevant keywords throughout your product page, both in the product title and description is essential. Make sure your product page meets these criteria. Does your product page have a relevant and unique meta title and uh, the description? Are you using the correct search filters? Have you included multiple relevant keywords for SEO? So to use the right keywords, you can rely on Cellarapp's keyword tool. Let me demonstrate how it works. On the Cellarapp platform, navigate to the keyword tool. Under this, we have like two sub features. Let's look into each one of them in detail. First is keyword research. It will help you find the keyword opportunities for your listings. In this, you can enter any keyword. I'm entering table since it is a sought after category. You'll see that the search results will be displayed on the screen. On the left, you will find the relevant keywords to the entered keyword. Also, you can find the tags against these particular keywords. They depict the current trend of these keywords on Amazon. And on the right, we have all the metrics based on which these keywords can be evaluated. Additionally, you can track the keywords where you'll be directed towards keyword tracking under product intelligence feature. There you can actually analyze them better for you know a specific period of time. And if you are good to go, then you can add them to your advertising. Within a few clicks, you can add more relevant keywords to your advertising. With this, you can add keywords to your relevant keyword tags as well. You can export the data with this tab and copy paste the most relevant keywords list into a new sheet in your Excel spreadsheet. Now let's talk about the second sub feature, the reverse ASIN tool. This one's pretty cool because it helps you understand your competitors keyword strategies. Here you can compare your ASIN with your competitors ASIN. I've added two ASINs and now click on compare. 
The best part about this tool is at a time you can compare your ASIN with three other competitors' ASINs. You'll see that the search results are already displayed on the screen. On the left, you'll find the keywords which are present in your ASIN as well as your competitor's ASIN. And on the right, we can see the metrics used to evaluate all of these keywords. This is your ASIN and this is your competitor's ASIN. Now I'm going to sort this column of, uh, you know, estimated orders per month. If you consider this particular example, this search term has good estimated orders per month and conversion rate, but it's present in your competitor's ASIN and not in your ASIN. This can be that keyword, which is helping them to rank at the top of the Amazon SERPs. You can directly add them to your advertising, or if you want, you can track the keywords where uh, you'll be directed towards the keyword tracking under product intelligence feature. There you can analyze them for a specific period of time. And if they are worth it, then you can add them to your advertising. With this, you can add keywords to your relevant tags as well. So this is how convenient this tool is to use. Within a few clicks, you can understand the keyword strategies your competitors are using and accordingly use them in your product titles, descriptions, and bullet points to enhance the product's visibility when shoppers search with relevant keywords. Next we have is run promotional campaigns and merchandising techniques. So promotional campaigns and merchandising techniques aim to inform the customers about your offerings and persuade them to make a purchase. Consider these particular strategies. Utilize email marketing. Analyze your sales data to identify customers who have you know, purchased the slow moving products. Then use email marketing campaigns to target the similar kind of audiences and offer incentives such as coupons. Next is offer product kits. Bundle slow moving products with fast selling items that create more compelling package for customers. You can also bundle multiple slow moving SKUs or complementary products that add value to each other. Say for instance, combine slow moving hats and socks into a kit. Include Bluetooth headphones with smartphones, bundle different products from you know same range together. Also provide discounts, promote stagnant products through the targeted email and uh, paid social media campaigns by offering discounts such as clearance sales, the daily deals, flash sales or low price add-ons. Fifth is offer gifts and make donations. Even if you are you know, not making a profit from your slow moving inventory where uh, there are other valuable gains to consider, people tend to trust brands that support a good cause and everyone loves a freebie. If you haven't already, it might be a good time to explore the uh, you know, following methods for putting your slow moving inventory to use, even if they don't result in immediate sales. First is social media giveaways. Use your slow moving products and giveaways on social media. This can be a fantastic way to increase brand recognition and build customer loyalty. You can also offer them as a free gift with a minimum purchase, which can boost the average order value. Next is donations. Donating your slow moving inventory provides an opportunity to align your business with your core values. This socially conscious approach allows you to share your company's story with the customers. For example, an apparel company could donate uh, slow moving socks and t-shirts to help those in need, creating a meaningful marketing narrative. To tackle the slow moving inventory effectively, it's often best to prevent it from happening in the first place. So here are five strategies businesses use to avoid the problematic slow moving inventory in the future. First is forecast demand. So accurate demand forecasting can act as an early warning system for potential sales declines. For instance, if a business sells uh, winter clothing and forecasts uh, suggest a mild winter, they can use past sales data and weather history to predict how many heavy coats may not sell. Next is early warning systems. 
businesses can set up early warning systems to monitor their inventory metrics more closely uh, than the planned threshold values. Before inventory becomes slow moving, they can track the cautionary metrics that allows for preventive action. For instance, if a product typically spends uh, between 40 and 80 days in stock and a 40 day product has been in stock for 70 days, this information is valuable even if it hasn't yet crossed the alert threshold. Next is supply chain communication. Strong communication with major customers and suppliers help businesses make better predictions and adapt quickly to changing circumstances. For example, if a business can notify a supplier to delay a scheduled shipment due to a customer's reduced demand, it can prevent the accumulation of slow moving inventory. Monitor the competition. Some causes of slow moving inventory stem from competitive factors such as better deals or newer products available elsewhere. Actively tracking competitors allow a business to proactively address new challenges instead of discovering them too late. For example, subscribing to a competitor's marketing emails provides real-time information about their sales and product launches enabling swift responses. Next is inventory management software. Effective software helps businesses stay on top of the inventory and sales in the real time, eliminating the need to rely on you know, backward looking observations or extensive metric calculations. Next is detailed inventory management software empowers businesses to make small adjustments and corrections to prevent the major inventory issues. For instance, if customer preferences change, such as an increased demand for funny possum t-shirts and a decrease in uh, you know, funny cat t-shirts, real-time sales data enables immediate adjustments to the orders. This proactive approach prevents uh, running out of popular items and accumulating excess stock of others. So slow moving inventory not only ties up your resources, but also affects your earnings. Recognizing it and understanding the reasons behind it can help your business adapt and change course. This analysis allows you to assess the risk of inventory becoming outdated and devise a successful sales strategy. By implementing bold and effective strategies, you can sell off that inventory, boost your sales and ultimately improve your profitability. If you need any assistance, SellerApp team is always here to guide you at support at sellerapp.com. And that's it for this video, everyone. Thanks for watching. Your support means a lot to us. It encourages us to bring out more helpful videos like this. If you found this video helpful, please like, share and subscribe to Seller App. Let us know if you guys want us to create detailed seller guides on any specific topics. You can leave your suggestions in the comment section below and we'll definitely create them for you. If you haven't already, click the bell icon so that you will never miss another video. Also, don't forget to follow us on our social media channels for more helpful content. And as always, happy selling!